Hello. Friends. This is our pod. In a recent blog I declared my undying eternal devotion to someone named that's Ashley. I believe that is known as calling dibs on her. Then Bible Girl 7 tells me that calling dibs on hot chips is not a legally binding contract nor does it protect my interests against the interests of others. I'm no lawyer but I thought that it did. If we start disregarding the sanctity of the declaration of dibs, what is next? Will we disabandon the solemnity of shotgun? I mean, when I call a shotgun you should know that the front seat is mine. It is something all civilized people agree to. This is part of the social contract Billy Idol sang about in his seminal song, The Leviathan. In the ninth verse he warns that life without a social contract would be terrible. He said, In such condition there is no place for industry, because the fruit thereof is uncertain. And consequently no culture of the earth. No navigation, nor use of the commodities that may be imported by sea. No commodious building. No instruments of moving and removing such things, as require much force. No knowledge of the face of the earth. No account of time. No arts. No letters. No society. And which is worst of all, continual fear and danger of violent death. And the life of man, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. It's true. Billy Idol's dystopian vision is a stark warning. Clearly we cannot abdicate our responsibilities under natural law and common sense for the momentary indulgence of neglecting the duties of dibs and shotgun. That's just crazy talk. Reminds me of what philosopher Thomas Hobbes said about the struggles women face when we abandon such social guidelines and moral restraints. He wrote, In the midnight hour, she cried, More, more, more. With a rebel yell, she cried, more, more, more. In the midnight hour, babe, more, more, more. With a rebel yell, more, 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 more. More, indeed. Until next time, I remain, your humble servant, Zarbod. Zarbod is cool.